Thank you, Joel. I must say that you did a great job because you did in less than 10 minutes even. <laughs> so our next speaker is Dr. Um, Dr. Emily Warner. She's senior scientist at ICAROVEC. I don't know if I say correctly. <laughs> ICAROVEC is a preclinical gene therapy company specializing in the treatment of common ocular disease. ICAROVEC designs multisystronic AAV constructs to target multiple disease pathways, thereby improving efficacy and offering improved long term site preservation. Emily is an experienced cell and molecular biologist. She joined, she joined Icarovec in the summer of 2020. Her expertise in vascular inflammation complements the teams. The team's decades spanning experience in the fields of ophthalmology and gene therapy. Now let me welcome Dr. Emily with the presentation entitled The Resolution of Complex Eye Disease Using Multipathway multi Targeting AAV Gene Therapies. Please welcome. Oh, yep. So thank you very much, and thank you for Genscript for inviting me. Uh, we've done quite a lot of work with Genscript for our gene synthesis and plasmid cloning, and recently um, we've had some polyclonal antibodies uh, produced, which they've been working really closely with us, and Libby's been helping with us as well. So thank you very much. Really recommend great customer service, and, um, <laughs> and I haven't been paid to do that. <laughs> So it's my absolute pleasure to introduce iCaravec. We're a startup based in Norwich. Uh, and as it was introduced, we're looking at the resolution of complex eye diseases using multi-pathway targeting AAV gene therapies. So as a company overview, we were founded in 2018 by Peter Widdison as a spin-out from Quithera, which was a Cambridge-based company who developed a solution for using AAV gene therapies for glaucoma, uh, which was acquired by Astellas that year for $109 million. Uh, our major focus is on major ophthalmic indications, those affecting millions of people. In 2020, the company raised £3 million from equity financing and grants, which meant that they could afford both myself and fully equipped labs and offices based in the Norwich Research Park. So our lead asset is a multi-cystronic or multi-component gene therapy for the treatment of diabetic macular edema. And we also have several other gene therapies for other ophthalmic conditions in our pipeline. Very proud to say we filed four patents in 2021 uh, with help from Venna Shipley, again, not paid for the endorsement, uh, but again, great help from them. Um, the company is on track for IND enabling studies to begin uh, in the fourth quarter of 2022, and we're currently seeking Series A and exploring commercial opportunities. So this is a team. We have our investors along the top. We have a senior management team with decades upon decades of experience in pharma, biotech, and specifically in gene therapy. Uh, Andy Osborne and Cara Boyd are here with me today, sitting at the back. Uh, Andy Osborne is our head of biology, and he's an experienced ocular and gene therapist. He was also integral to the success of Quithera. Uh, Cara Boyd is our biology uh, masters, who is our research assistant, and she's very helpful in keeping the lab together uh, and also managing her own work on top of that. Myself, I have a varied um, degree. I've done a postdoc in various different fields um, and have particular interest in vascular research. So we've got a number of target indications, as I said, but today I'm just going to focus on our lead asset, which is diabetic macular edema. This is a complex disease um, which affects multiple young people. So diabetic macular edema is the leading cause of sight loss in the under 65, so our working age population. It's a complication of an inflammatory condition brought on by diabetes, which affects over 100 million people worldwide. This inflammation of the retina leads to swelling and fluid buildup in the macula. And the macula is the part of the eye in the retina that is responsible for that clear, central, focused vision. So it's what we use in order to identify faces, for reading, and for looking at adorable puppies. Um, what, we, what happens when we see this buildup of fluid at the macula is our vision starts to go blurry, and as the disease progress progresses, we start getting severe vision loss and blindness and no more puppies. So what we do know through decades of research is that a protein called VEGF is a driver of DMO. 
So in this inflammatory condition, the retina cannot receive enough mu nutrients from damaged blood vessels that occur as a consequence of this diabetic condition. VEGF drives new vessel formation, but unfortunately, uh, in this inflammatory process, these new vessels are very leaky and fragile, and this kind of leads to the, the progression of the disease. And the global market for this disease alone is massive, worth billions, greater than billions of dollars, and currently is being treated uh, by regular injections of anti-VEGF therapies into the eye, which have some have been effective, but you can imagine for a working age population, multiple injections, perhaps every four to six weeks, is an inconvenience for, for this kind of size of market and these younger populations. So current treatments with anti-VEGF, those who do respond, so about 40% of patients who respond very well uh, and have a great improvement in their visual acuity in the first 12 weeks, do enjoy this sustained improvement in their vision. Those who don't respond or poorly respond within those first 12 weeks don't enjoy this and despite having these repeat injections actually don't have their uh, vision improved. So there's an urgent medical need for safer, cheaper and more effective treatment. And that's because DMO is not all about VEGF. It is a complex inflammatory disease. Clinical data shows it's more complex than just the upregulation of VEGF alone. There are multiple pathways dysregulated, which lead to inflammation, uh, oxidative stress, vascular dysfunction, as well as the loss of important retinal cells at the back of the eye, and uh, eventually fibrosis that's brought on by this inflammation. Um, so really, we need therapies that should target multiple pathways simultaneously in order to be fully effective for the widest market that we can reach. So our solution is a tricystronic or tricomponent construct. It's aimed to be a gene therapy, so a fire and forget single intraocular injection uh, to remove that burden of repeat injections into the eye. We aim for this to contain three components which can help prevent this neovascularization brought on by um, the inflammation, vascular leakage. We want it to be retinoprotective uh, and also antifibrotic. And this is how it works. So we've got all, all packaged into one vector. We have three genes which are driven by one promoter, which are internally cleaved and then secreted as functional proteins. So just a little snapshot of some data that I can show you. So we have demonstrated that our uh, lead candidates do actually suppress VEGF-driven activity, so we can still target that market that respond well to anti-VEGF therapies. In addition, it, we've shown neuroprotective in a typical model of uh, neurotoxin-induced toxicity. Uh, and we've got confirmatory in vivo studies underway with our gene constructs. And it also been shown to inhibit fibrosis. So um, unhealthy cells at the back of the eye will start secreting inflammatory and fi pro-fibrotic factors. And we've shown that our leads in vitro can uh, inhibit the production of these proteins. So that's where we are. Um, in summary, we have developed multi-pathway targeting gene therapies that can be delivered as single intraocular injections. We've identified leads for each of our programs. We have patents filed in all four of our key ophthalmic indications. Uh, we've recently completed our gene therapies and initial POC studies in a uh, mouse and rat model. And we're aiming for our Series A raise in 2022, as I mentioned, um, and being very optimistic and everything going to plan as things always do, we'd be aiming for the clinic about 2023. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for your attention. If anybody has any questions, then I look forward to uh, your questions at the panel, or if you want to uh, ask me anything over drinks, I'm sure I'll be there as well. Our website and our LinkedIn is there as well if you'd like to ask any questions. Thank you very much.